I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. A candlelight vigil just wrapped up outside the baby's home in Troy. Sonu Wasu is there live with information that sheds some light on the parents' past. Sonu. Well, Mark, Michelle, we are live outside apartment number two here on Hilltop Drive. It is a tragic sight. Right next to these teddy bears, the candles, the flowers, the ribbons, and the cards is the bright yellow glow of crime scene tape, a harsh reminder of what took place here about seven hours ago. I think we're all gathered here tonight to honor this child who unfortunately left this world today. Baby Caleb's life was cut short just eight months after he was born. Neighbors light candles, bring teddy bears, ribbons, and flowers. Gifts from strangers, many who've never even met the baby before. Eight months old. I mean, yeah. I think about it and I cry. I want to cry now. Baby Caleb's mother and father, Tara and Jason Durig, are mourning inside their jail cells, both now charged with child endangering. And court records indicate it's not the first time. Jason Durig was charged with child abuse in 2007 for hurting another child. Neighbors tell us the couple kept to themselves, but they could not ignore the noise coming from apartment two here on Hilltop Drive. It's pathetic that you see, I sit outside and can hear that baby cry for three hours, two and three hours on end, while they're sitting outside with their doors closed. Doors, blinds, and everything closed. No baby monitors, no nothing. The other day they said the kid came out and had bruises all over his forehead, and no one's done nothing because I don't know why no one's done nothing. It's been a tough lesson for these neighbors. Some feel guilty they never spoke up. If you see something that you don't think is right, if you see that someone is struggling, that we need to be there, we need to be responsible, and we need to help them. Neighbors also want to know why this couple was allowed to keep an eight-month-old baby after being accused of hurting another child three years ago. They should have took the child away or they should have checked on it. The Miami County Children's Services said have been involved. No matter what, they should have been involved with that. Now we put in a call to Miami County Children's Services, but we're told their public information officer will be gone for the next week or two, so we were unable to get those answers for you tonight. But we're going to keep pushing, so stay tuned. We will have some of those answers for you coming up here tomorrow. Meantime, Troy Police have stationed two police officers here at the scene tonight. They're guarding this scene here until a search warrant can be served inside that apartment. Reporting live in Miami County, Sonu Basu, 2 News on your side. Also new at 11